Good day. This is KSBS Public Television from Spokane. Good day. <laughs> Funny, she doesn't look Druish. Mel Brooks and John Candy star in Spaceballs. Hi, movie buffs. Ryan Tucker here, about to take you into ludicrous speed. The year is 1987. The first Simpsons cartoon airs on The Tracy Ullman Show. The sitcom Full House debuts on ABC. President Reagan declares, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Mm, that was more of a... Kennedy. Anyway, and six-year-old Ryan sees the poster for Spaceballs for the first time, and his sense of humor is permanently shaped for life. We've previously talked about the immortal John Candy and the ever-so-likable Rick Moranis. So this time around, I thought Bill Pullman. Pullman admittedly said he actually hadn't seen Star Wars before doing Spaceballs, which he thought was after the fact. The part of Lone Star was first offered to Tom Cruise and Tom Hanks before Pullman landing the role. Tom Hanks, I could imagine, is Lone Star. Mm -hmm. but I think he might have gone too big for the part. Tom Cruise, on the other hand, it cannot even for one moment picture. Pullman plays the rogue hip with just enough reality and slap, slap stickiness to make him the best for this. I read in an interview that Pullman was quite humble despite getting his first major starring role and was chastised by the makeup artist for Spaceballs, Bob Mills, who wore a suit and tie to work every day. Pullman was driving a 72 Plymouth Valiant that he really loved, but would often break down resulting in somebody from the studio having to pick him up. This frustrated Bob Mills, and he yelled at Pullman, saying, Don't you know you need to behave like a star? You come in here with a car like you're a farmer. Don't worry, kid, I'm going to make you into a star. He then grabbed the back of his pants and bunched them up and go, See, this is going to be the secret that carries you through your whole career. you got to get that part tight around your butt. What an amazing first major role experience. Now, our other star, Daphne Zuniga, already had a couple starring roles under her belt before she landed Spaceballs, including Vision Quest, shot right here in Spokane. She has said that the most difficult part for her was to be the serious one and not fall apart laughing from the ridiculous lines she had in the movie. She has also remarked about how much she enjoyed watching all the great comic forces spitballing ideas in the middle of scenes on how to make it funnier. It was an unforgettable experience. Speaking of forgetting, be sure to remember the Alamo which Sean Higgins will be hosting next week, followed by The King's Speech with Michaela Daniels. Be sure to check us out online for more behind-the-scenes video and musings from movie Maverick Mike. Now buckle up and be prepared to be sucked into the tractor beam of laughs with Spaceballs. The Alamo! 1960! Alamo! Rights of Freedom!
Fantasy Pictures presents a Fantasy Fantasy.